Okay, this video is for Karen Henderson. It's uh, the first of two. I'm hopefully going to show you what I think is wrong with this throat plate on this DeWalt saw, and I'm hoping to show you the easy solution for it. It's a bit tricky to show you, but this plate at the back is now adjusted as tight as it will go. If you tighten it anymore, it flexes the plate, which flexes the plate, which is something I'll show you in a minute. But if you put the a straight edge, this is a good Japanese straight edge. You can see that there's a gap under there. And if I use feeder gauges on it, it's a good 0.6, a good 0.6 there. And my issue with that is, apart from the fact that I think it would, you know, it's clearly designed to be leveled. If you're cutting a shortish piece of wood and shortish narrow piece of wood, I've got a piece of wood here. That I've cut previously. Let me set this up as I would be using it. So on here, now it's a shortish piece of wood. I'm using a, a typical sort of push stick that people make up. If you push it down through there, this point, it's not actually stopping on the blade, it's stopping on this back corner. And on that back corner, I'll show you around here, that literally gets caught on there and what's going to happen obviously is people are going to push harder and harder and it's going to jump with potentially quite unpleasant consequences. A bit more to that as well, this plate on here is clearly people have, when they're setting it up, they've tried to address the issue by really tightening up these screws and when this came to me, these were done up really tight to lift the plate over on here as well, if you tighten this, if you continue to tighten this plate, it pushes this edge in. And what you get, of course, is a really big bow on the top of the plate. In fact, when it came, it had this big bow on it. I originally thought that it might have been the fact that this table was not flat, but actually it's this plate, it's been clipped to the back edge and the front edge, and when these screws done up tight, it produces this crown on the guard, which is even less acceptable. You've got a step at the side and all your accuracy, and this side, and all your accuracy is gone. But as I say, even if you just nip them, so it's lifting as high as it'll go, these lugs at the back, which I'm sure you know about, but let me just pop this plate out, you can see the flex in the plate. These lugs in the back are preventing the plate lifting to the correct height. So what I'm going to try to do, which is what I suggested I would do, is I'm going to just take a file to those lugs and see if I can reduce them by a very little amount and see if this plate will sit flat. Okay.